this is going to be a very quick video on how to export your Logic Pro 10 session to an MP3 file. I will also show you the best way to do to a WAV file. You want to do an MP3 if you just want a quick, small file to send in an email or to attach somewhere else. You want a WAV file, which is a slightly bigger, more high quality file. If that's the master file you will be uploading to streaming services. So over here I have got a hip hop beat session open. Um, what we are going to do is first we want to select the region that we want to export. So in this case this track does not start until here. An easy way, what we want to do is drag the cycle across the whole song. A quick way to do that all at once, let's say we only have a little bit selected here, you can just do Command A, Command U, and that will put the cycle across all tracks in the session. Now, if you have any sort of effects on any of these individual tracks, such as a reverb, you might want to extend this out a little bit so that the any tail effects that are kind of tailing off the end of the actual um, stem itself you might want to add a little bit to the end for the export we're going to go to file bounce not export that's a trap we're going to do bounce project or section for mp3 we would select this if you don't know what the bit rate is, don't worry about it. It's going to have our start and end. This is what we selected with our cycle. And we are just going to click OK. Figure out where to save our track. Let's just put it in a new folder called Beat MP3. Click Bounce. It'll quickly scrub through. I'll jump to when that's done. All right, you can now see we have our MP3. We're just gonna click play in here first. Make sure it starts and ends where we want it to. Go back to our file. We can go ahead and click play on that. It starts, I promise it'll also end where you want it to. Um, the next type of file, so that's for MP3s, how to export, you use Bounce. To do a WAV file, which is the higher quality, larger file, we're again going to go to Bounce, and we can either click here or just do Command B. This time we are going to click PCM and do File Format WAV. You could also do AIFF if you're going to be working um, with other logic sessions that just can, these file types contain slightly different information. I pretty much always do WAV. Um, resolution and sample rate, if you don't know what it is, don't really worry about it. Typically, I always use 16-bit um, for, it, it'll increase your file size the more you go. I'm worried about that, so I only use 16-bit 44K. And because I clicked over here, our start and end got messed up. So I'm going to do my command A, command U, Apple B again. And now you can see we've got the correct start and end. Um, for these other types of things, um, dithering, don't worry about it unless you are working with CDs. Normalize, I never do because I do all of my um, leveling and limiting in session. Uh, normalize is going to do a little bit of compression on your file to make sure it doesn't uh, peak too loudly or clip. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to save it. This time we're going to do master wave, not web, and bounce. And I will be right back when this is done. All right, so now our wave master file has finished bouncing this is going to be a higher quality less compressed version which is what we would want to upload for our listeners to consume in its final format you can see this is nearly 10 times larger so these files are a lot bigger that's why we often bounce to mp3 for passing around a rough mix attaching a file to something uh, to a message or a text for feedback to send to someone um, 
But those are the two main types of files that I am bouncing out of Logic Pro 10. I hope you enjoyed this extremely fast tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.